What's it on YouTube? Welcome back everyone, this is Lee, and yes, today's the day we'll be talking about the image quality between the Canon RP versus the Nikon Z6 II. So, without further ado, let's begin. Now, 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 I know, I know, I know, the Canon RP and the Nikon Z6 II are two different price bracket cameras. I'm totally aware of that. However, in this video, we are going to slap on one lens, the same lens, the Rokinon 14 mm two point aperture lens on each camera, and we're gonna test the image quality. Yes, we'll be testing out the 26 megapixel Canon RP versus the Nikon Z6 II 24 megapixel. So, let's take a look at the ISO. With the ISO, I'm gonna make this quite interesting. This is really boring because 24 versus 26, it's not that much of a difference. So I'm definitely gonna zoom in. This is for the pixel peepers out there. So this is ISO 100. As you can see, the Canon RP is slightly noisier than the Nikon at ISO 100. And then ISO 800, the story remains the same. The Canon is slightly noisier than the Nikon Z6 II. At ISO 1600, yep, the Canon is still slightly noisier than the Nikon. Yes, this is going to be kind of redundant, I apologize. ISO 3200. There you go. Same deal, Canon is slightly noisier than the Nikon. Now, at 6400, Twelve thousand eight hundred. The same. So in the end, I will have to say that if you're just shooting this for the Instagram or just for Facebook, you won't be able to tell the difference unless you're zooming in at three hundred percent, which is what we just did. Now, let's take a look at some scenery shots with the same lens. In the first scene, the Canon RP and the Nikon Z6 II, you could clearly tell the difference. The Canon is a tad warmer than the Nikon. The Nikon grass is much more greener than the Canon, pretty much a lot saturated, right? Now, let's do a dynamic range shot. This is where I underexpose my shot and I push out the exposure in Lightroom to see which camera retains the most detail without breaking apart. And as you can clearly see, the Canon do break apart with pushing out the dynamic range. Now, on to the next scene. Here is a typical sidewalk, and keep in mind we're in the late afternoons around winter time. As you can clearly see, the road, it's a lot warmer on the Canon than the Nikon. The Nikon grass is a tad greener than the Canon. So, Already you can see sort of a trend going on right now. And also let's do a dynamic range test. And this is what it looks like. the Canon do break apart. So there you have it. Now, let's take a look at the next scene. So here is my study room, and if you could take a look at my rubber plants, you could clearly see that the Canon, of course, once again, it does a warm cast on the image. There you go. Now, let's do a dynamic range push.
the cannon also still breaks apart. Now, for the last scene, this is my bathroom scene. Now for this scene right here, you can clearly see that the tiles are way warmer on the cannon than the Nikon. Nikon is on the cool side of things, but the tile in general is white. Now let's do a dynamic range shot. And already with the dynamic range on the Canon RP, it breaks up. So in conclusion, the Canon RP at 26 megapixel will always be slightly noisier than a 24 megapixel Nikon. And that's very obvious, of course. Now in my test, I purposely zoomed in and uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to start some drama, but in reality, if you're posting this online, no one can tell the difference. That's, it's just minimal at that point, right? Now for the color signs between each brand, the Canon has their warm color tone. Of course, that's, that's just something that, uh, it works well with portraits, right? For landscape, interior, product stuff, I've been told people rather prefer the Nikon. It's a lot accurate than the Canon. Canon's a little tad warm, but uh, like I said, it's great for portraits. Now, for the dynamic range, the Canon does very poorly versus the Nikon. Nikon retains the shadow a lot nicer when you're pushing out the exposure. For those people that will say this to me, of course, Canon RP is on the bottom of the totem pole. I should get something more expensive like the R5 and test it out. And for those people that are thinking that, I will leave a link down below. I already did the Z7 versus the R5. And let me say, you get a warmer color science on your images and also your dynamic range on your R5 does poorly versus the Nikon Z7. So with that in mind, if the RP is at the bottom of the totem pole, and the Canon R5 is on top of the totem pole and the results are the same. In my conclusion, I am thinking that the R6 EOS R dynamic range will follow suit. It's probably not that good. And also the color cast will still be there. It'll be slightly warmer on the Canon. Whereas the Nikon, it's just gonna be a lot better on the dynamic range side of things. And the color science on the Nikon is a lot better. Now, there are features on the Canon that I like more than the Nikon, but that's on another video, of course. But anyways, thank you guys for checking me back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely click like and subscribe, and don't forget to check out the merch store. And yup, take it easy. Peace.